What's up, everyone? Garrett here from Code the Web. And first off, Happy New Year's and Happy Holidays. I hope everyone is enjoying today. Today is New Year's Day when I'm uploading this video if you're watching today. And I hope everyone also just had an amazing holiday season, whatever it is you celebrate. I hope it was as amazing as you wanted it to be or hoped it would be. And I also hope that your 2015 was as good as you wanted it to be and that maybe your 2016, hopefully, will be at least as good as 2015, but maybe even better, which would be awesome. So in this video, I've never done anything like this before, but in this video, I wanted to kind of have like a toned down, not as planned video where um, we're going to talk about Code the Web, what we're doing, what my goals are for the new year, and what my thoughts were for the past year and what we were able to accomplish. So I've never done anything like this also, by the way. So this is going to be the first time that we're doing this, and it's going to happen every year from here on out, along with some more updates. I don't know about monthly, but just more often. Next. If I look down at all during this video, it's not because I don't want to look at the camera. It's because I actually have notes for the video in front of me because there was a lot and I wasn't able to memorize everything. So if I look down, that's what I'm looking at. So first off with the annual report, this year in 2015, there were 2,197 likes on the channel. So that's pretty awesome. Keep on liking the videos if you like them. And uh, that's a pretty good number. Next. We had 7,974 new subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. That is a lot, far more than I thought, like far more than I imagined like getting when I first started the channel, like not more than I imagined getting ever, but more than like I was thinking would be awesome. You know what I mean? Like I was thinking, oh, like the big milestone was a thousand when I first started the channel. First it was a hundred, then it was a thousand. And now I'm at, I think I'm approaching 10,000. So that's, Amazing, just absolutely amazing. We had 227,212 video views. So, like the amount of times that all the videos were viewed, that's the number that it was, or around there for uh, 2015. And that's a lot. That's almost a quarter of a million, which is incredible. I think what's even crazier than that is that the next stat is 546,948 minutes watched. So, that means that if let's say a, uh, a video was 10 minutes, and it was watched twice, so the, the minutes watched would be like 20 minutes, right? So that means that the, the videos were played for a total of over half a million minutes. That's a long time. A really, really long time. That, honestly, all of those stats absolutely blow me away. I mean, I think that's so cool that we were able to do that. We were able to reach that many people um, and hopefully help in your process of learning about web design and web development and just design and like other cool internet things. So here are my thoughts for how the year went and just overall what's going on with Code the Web. So we are approaching 10,000 subscribers and the number right now is like 9,300 and something. I'm not really sure what it is, but um, that's the number right now. And so we're approaching 10,000. It's going to happen pretty soon within the next like month or so. And I'm well aware that uh, 10,000 is not that much compared to other YouTube channels. I mean, you have some with like 6 million subscribers, right? And that's like a lot. But still, it amazes me because there are cities smaller than 10,000 people. There are like neighborhoods and townships smaller than 10,000 people in the world. So the fact that the subscriber base of Code the Web has grown to almost hitting 10,000 is absolutely incredible. And I'm just totally blown away by that. I can't stress that enough. I think it's really, really amazing. So thank you for being a part of that and subscribing and watching the videos and helping me to want to continue to do this. The two biggest questions I get by far are, hey, Garrett, can you post more videos? And number two, people will just not like a specific question, but people will post their code in the comments of what they're doing and following along with me. And something's not working. And they want me to help them. So, uh, just hold on to those two questions. We're going to address them down in the goals for 2016. I just wanted to let you guys know what the two most uh, commonly asked questions are that I get. So with that, we're going to address those comments later on. So I really like where Code the Web is at right now. However, going off of the last two points, I want Code the Web to be more of a, not just a YouTube channel where I post videos and you guys like and comment and watch them, which I is awesome. I appreciate that. But I want it to be more of a community where you guys can get involved and talk to one another and share what you're doing. And ultimately, we can all help each other as we all travel down the path to becoming better web designers and web developers. I would also like to be able to provide you guys with more resources that are not just videos. So for example, maybe downloads or written articles or whatever else I can think of down the road. Those are just two things off the top of my head. But 
I would like to not just be able to make videos, but rather provide you guys with educational resources that can help you in more ways than just visually. So keeping all of that in mind, here are some ideas that I have for Code the Web in the future, or more specifically in 2016, and goals that I have for the new year. First, I know that sometimes I didn't post a, a video every week. There were some weeks that I was just too busy or just didn't plan ahead of time like I should have, and therefore a video was not posted. This year, I'm going to try to do exactly that, which is great, but many of you guys have also been asking, like I said, to make more than one video per week. So, with that said, I'm going to try and post two videos per week. Now, when I say try, I mean I'm definitely going to be posting one video per week for this entire year, so 52 videos. But I also want to have another day where I can post videos, not be obligated to post videos, so the one video a week is still a thing. But maybe... Uh, 75% of the time, there will be two videos per week. So a second video is not guaranteed, but I will make a conscious effort to do so. And they will be more of fun slash standalone videos that are not tied to a series like the other videos will be. So for example, maybe a Q&A when you guys ask questions, because I'm starting to get a lot of those, or maybe even a vlog here or there, or just a fun project that I've been working on. I think this will really open up Code the Web and allow us to kind of connect on another level, and you guys will be able to enjoy more content that ultimately teaches you guys about web design. Also, I'll just be able to do more cool things, um, and so I think that'll be really awesome, because one of the problems that I have now is I want to make series, or series, sorry, because those are really, really good ways to teach something in depth. But I want to also make standalone fun videos that are about specific topics that don't necessarily need a series. But if I have a series going for, let's say, 10 weeks, like the PHP series right now is 10 weeks long, it's kind of difficult for me to put in another video in there because I don't want to break up the series because I want to get those out. But uh, since it's only once a week, there's kind of it's kind of difficult. Where do I put that in? I don't want to come out with some random video. So that's what I'm going to do. The second video per week, it, like I said, it's not going to be guaranteed, but it will be something I try to do, and it will be more standalone slash fun kind of videos. Secondly, if you've ever emailed me, you might have noticed that the domain name in my email address, sorry, is icodetheweb.com. This was a website that I bought a long, long time ago, back when Code the Web was pretty young, and by pretty young, I mean like a year or even less. I mean, I think we had... 300 subscribers maybe and I was like ah oh, 300 that's so many like I have a huge following like I can buy a website and people will go to it and stuff like that and I probably tried I don't really remember but it obviously didn't work because we don't use icodetheweb.com except for when you guys email me so the reason I never used it was kind of two parts one code the web's viewership or viewer base rather was never large enough to support it it's so I didn't think and secondly, after buying it, like really, really shortly after buying it, and I kind of remember thinking this when I bought it and just being like, ah, it'll be okay. But after buying it, I realized that putting an I in front of the name, like the Apple trend at the time, and this is like 2008 or 2009, uh, didn't really make much sense. First off, it was an Apple thing to put I, the letter I, uh, in front of the name of something. And secondly, it wasn't what the name of the channel was called. The channel was called Code the Web, so why would I put an I in front of it and make it I Code the Web? So it just didn't really make any sense. And actually, I think if you go back and watch the the Coda 2 review video, I think I say, hey, it's Garrett from I Code the Web. So I, I guess I had the idea to rebrand Code the Web as I Code the Web, but that was just dumb. I mean, it's Code the Web. It's not I Code the Web. So I never used it. For those two reasons, never having enough people to support it or never having enough viewers to support it. And secondly, because uh, I just didn't really make any sense. I didn't like the name. It was not aligned with the brand at all. So I didn't use it. And uh, that was the end of that. As I was thinking for this video, like what I wanted to do and what my ideas were for Code the Web in 2016 and what I did like about what I've done in the past and what I didn't like about what I've done in the past and just about the kind of you guys and how you guys kind of are starting to, to interact with Code the Web and me and whatnot, I kind of came up with the idea, like I said before, that I wanted to be able to provide you guys with not just videos, but also like downloads and written articles and maybe an email list. That's just something I thought of in the time of making this video and just whatever else I could come up with. And YouTube being a video creation and distribution platform is not really capable of doing any of that. So how would I do that? Uh, I would need a domain name, but I had, while I had icodetheweb.com, like I said before, the name is just dumb. It doesn't really make sense to use it with Code the Web because they're two totally different names. Uh, 
I think it's really, I think it's okay and it's acceptable to kind of have an abbreviation of a company's name or um, an, a, not a necessarily a company, but just a name of something. But it's not okay to go adding things onto your name. And that's kind of what I was doing. So my plan uh, was to wait for codetheweb.com to expire. Currently, uh, it is. It says on there that it's a web design blog coming in July of 2014. I remember seeing this back in 2014 and thinking, okay, I'm going to see what it is. So I signed up for their like email, whatever newsletter. July 2014 comes around, nothing changes. Now we are. We've already passed July of 2015. In fact, we're hitting 2016, obviously, because we're making this video, and there's still nothing there. And back in October. Uh, I looked up like when the domain was going to expire and it said October 16th. I remember it very, very well because I was paying attention to this date. So October 16th comes around. I think it was like 12 o'clock at night or something. It was set to expire because I don't, I don't really know why, but just it was. And uh, so I was going to buy it. And I guess they have like renew website automatically on because it got renewed and it's going to expire like in a year from now. So I didn't really want to put up with that and wait. So what I did was I started thinking of names for a code the web website. I was thinking of doing something like just a tutorials website that I could expand into something else. And I was like, no, that's another branding issue. Like we should keep it with code the web. So what I did was I abbreviated code the web and now bought code the w.com. So is this the best name in the world for code the web? No, obviously not. Code the web would be the best name in the world for code the web. But since I couldn't get that, I think this might be the next best thing or close to the next best thing. Uh, so that said, uh, I think the name is better. And what is code the we- or code the w dot com going to be? So I will be doing exactly what I was saying I wanted to do before back in my thoughts or earlier in the goals for 2016. Uh, so code the W will be a place where you guys can go to find resources that are not just videos. So downloads, written um, articles, and uh, maybe a newsletter if I can get around to that. I think I will, but we'll see. Um, and also, secondly, I want it to be a community where you guys can log on, make an account, log on, and you'll be able to sh- share what you guys are working on and help each other with any problems that you have. So for example, say if you had a problem with code that I was doing in a a video or even code that you were just working on yourself for your own project and needed some help with it or wanted to ask a question, you could log on to codethew.com, go to the community section, and you could ask a question and people could uh, could respond to you. And so I think this sounds a lot like a forum. And I want to tell you guys really quick, uh, it does sound a lot like a forum. That, that would be a correct observation. But it's not going to be a forum, actually. Uh, So it's going to be based off of WordPress, the entire website. So it's going to be a WordPress blog, WordPress, everything. And then also there's a plugin for WordPress called BuddyPress. And that basically allows you to make a social network. So (laughs) welcome uh, today, starting today, to the Code the W or Code the Web social network at Code the W, Code the W dot com. That's a tongue twister. So uh, it's going to kind of be like a social network. It's not going to be like a forum where you guys post threads here and there and it gets very, very complicated and mixed up and it becomes a mess and then it just my server like crashes or something and I have to get some crazy hosting um, because no one wants to deal with that. So what we're going to do is uh, buddy press. It's going to be like you guys have your own profile. Uh, you will have your own like wall kind of similar to Facebook, but like not really. And there's also going to be like a very common like news feed where you will be able to uh, just post something and it'll come up in this communal news feed that everyone can see. People can go down, comment, like it, whatever. They can help you out. You can help other people out. And I think it's going to be an awesome way to start this community and kind of bring Code the Web to the next level and just help everyone out in a really impactful way. So, like I said, I'd mention this, but starting today, you can head over to codethew.com and register to become part of the Code the Web community and check out all the resources there. Um, admittedly, there aren't many resources there right now just because it's brand new and I think I want the real focus for now to be the community just to get that kind of going. Um, but I will like daily, weekly, depending on what's going on, at the very least weekly, be posting new resources for you guys to check out and use, whether it be an article or some kind of a downloadable thing or whatever it is. So head on over to codethew.com, register, check it out, look around, post your questions, help other people out, and I think we'll be able to, to make this a pretty big success.
Uh, last leak, this is the le- oh, no, sorry. Second to last thing I want to talk about, which is Facebook and Twitter. I've mentioned in the past that I was going to start using Facebook and Twitter, and I would do so, but then I would stop doing so. The problem is that, again, like I was saying with iCodeTheWeb.com, the name of the page and the account just didn't line up. I mean, Facebook's was actually iCodeTheWeb, so it was Facebook.com slash iCodeTheWeb, and Twitter's was CodeTheWeb1. I put a number on the end of it, which isn't the worst thing in the world, certainly not as bad as putting a letter in front of it that had nothing to do with the actual name. But it's not great. And since I made this new website, CodeTheW.com, I wanted to make Facebook and Twitter accounts that aligned properly with the website. So, starting... Well, I made them a while back. And I think actually a few people have liked them. But starting today, I'm going to be starting to actually use them and upload things all the time, really. So if there's something, for example, that's not big enough to write an article about and not big enough to make a video about... That's where it'll go to Facebook and Twitter. So I encourage everyone, head on over there. Give both those accounts a uh, a follow. I changed all the links in all my videos to those uh, Twitter and Facebook pages. And also I'll put, of course, a link to everything I'm talking about in the description down below. So that said, the last thing that I would like to talk about is, I don't know if you've noticed, but the video quality, um, and I'm not talking about like the content wise, But I'm talking about the actual quality of the video. Like when I record myself like this, which I'll admit isn't very often, but it's for good reason. The camera that I use to record is actually the camera on my laptop. So the Facebook or FaceTime HD camera that shipped with my 20 uh, early 2013 MacBook Pro and this microphone right here. The microphone is good, but the camera is not good. In fact, I don't even know if my mouth and the words are syncing up properly. I think there might be like a slight delay. And that's not great, actually. Um, in fact, it's it's not really good. It's, it's actually bad. So I'm going to do some research, and I'm going to try and get a new camera so that I can make better videos of me. And with that, I will record myself in the videos more often than just like I'm doing now because... I feel like so bad I don't want to like show myself because I feel like it brings down the quality of the video considerably. So that said, uh, you will hopefully see a lot more of me in the videos, but I don't know just yet. I have to get a camera first. Thank you all for watching. Once again, Happy New Year. I hope 2016 will be at least as good, but hopefully better than 2015 was there for you. And like I said, head on over to Code the Web. Sorry, not Code the Web. Head on over to CodeTheW.com, check it out, register on the site, post all of your questions and all that cool stuff. Also, head on over to Facebook.com slash CodeTheW, as well as Twitter.com slash CodeTheW, and like and follow those pages, respectively. As always, all links will be in the description, and I will see you next time. Take care. Oh, subscribe, uh, like, comment, whatever. Any questions or any more suggestions you guys might have, put them down in this, uh, in the, the comment on this video and my new email also is garrett at i uh, sorry garrett at code w.com not garrett at i code the web.com so again thank you for watching happy new year and i will see you all in the new year take care peace